Hello and welcome everyone. For today's video, we are going to be doing something that I kind of used to do, but in a little bit of a different way. So I knew that I wanted to pull some outfits together for you just because I feel like it's been a while since I've done that. But my house is kind of cramped right now with all of the bundle stuff just taking up a lot of room and then a lot of the knee-high stuff taking up a lot of the room. So there's not really a good area to film, plus it gets really dark really early in the winter time and my house is just dark generally. But I wanted to do something like a lookbook because it's been a long time and I'm super inspired by Marsha Hunt, the muse of the day today who we're talking about. I started falling really in love with her style this past summer and it's just been growing and growing. If you aren't familiar with Marsha Hunt, she is an actress, a singer, and a model in the 60s and 70s. She was also a muse to Mick Jagger and Mark Bolan. She actually has Mick Jagger's child. While I was doing a little reading about Marsha before doing this video, I found a sweet little passage about her and Mark Boland's meeting that I just thought I'd want to read to you. This is on mistymist.wordpress.com. Um, I can put the link down in the description if you really want to go to this as well. And it says that they met in 1969 when she went to the studio where Bolin was recording Unicorn. Tony Visconti, the producer, said that when Bolin and Hunt met, you could see the shafts of light pouring out of their eyes into each other. We finished the session unusually early, and Mark and Marsha walked out into the night hand in hand. So, really sweet. I love her, she's an amazing talent, she's beautiful, and she seems like she was a really cool person to hang around with. So in a lot of these photos you can only see part of the outfit, so for the rest I'm kind of just going off of my own judgement or what I would pair with it, or what I think I could picture her pairing with it. So for the first outfit I found this photo of her in a what looks like a velveteen kind of blazer. I love the like piping trim around the pockets and around the lapels. That is beautiful. It looks like she has some kind of a dress shirt with a tie underneath. Super cute. Some big hoop earrings. So to try to emulate Marsha's look in this photo I paired my own velvet black blazer over top of a cream knit that has this like really big collar and then I took a vintage scarf with some polka dots and I just tied it underneath with a little knot just to kind of like make it look similar to a tie and for pants I went with these black corduroy kind of like a straight leg and then I paired my knee-high black boots underneath I think that's a really cool look um, very 60s these are more of like low-rise jeans um, but I think that high-rise or mid-rise would be great for it as well. It's just whatever you prefer. And then I just added a belt buckle as well because I thought that it added to kind of like the tailored structure look. And for the next outfit, I found this really cute photo of her and her baby. Uh, she's wearing this amazing gingham dress that's kind of like patchwork of different colors it looks like. This is in black and white so it's hard to tell. I absolutely love the Empire Weiss on this dress as well. And the floor length, super pretty. It reminded me of this dress that Alice Strider actually gave to me and I wore it in the Darlin' Darlin' music video uh, for my prom goer character. And it's just kind of like a Empire Waist, kind of prairie-esque. It's like that 70s does prairie style. So anything like long and flowy I feel like would help you to emulate this look of hers. And I couldn't tell what shoes she was wearing with it but I would guess either some sandals or some platforms. So I just went with my platform sandals and added some sunglasses and a purse just to, I don't know, throw on a little something. She's got a cute baby. I had nothing in my hand so I felt like I needed to hold something. <laughs> Okay, and for this next photo, I absolutely love this outfit. I wish I had something a little closer to it, but I did the best I could. Uh, number one, I love her accessories. Um, I just kept my rings on the whole time. I see that sometimes she wears a lot of rings, sometimes she doesn't. So any kind of like a tie top would be great for this and some high-waisted pants. I miraculously had a matching set. Um, that was a tie top and some high-waisted pants. This one the Hippie Shake sent to me and I'm in love with the gold and the sparkles. It's kind of similar in the fact that it's very eye-catching, like hers is a fun pattern. But yeah, and then I'm not wearing any shoes just because she's not wearing any shoes in the photo either. And I added a choker necklace because she has a necklace close up to her neckline as well. Not quite a choker, but you know, close enough. 
If you wanted to do shoes with this outfit, I would say some like platform sandals would be great again, or boots. Basically, whatever your preference is. For the next outfit, I went with these three couple of photos. I'm not sure if they're from the exact same day or if she's just wearing the same top on different days. But either way, I don't get to see a lot of it in either photo, so we're gonna piece this together if it's not just from one day. So for this outfit, I'm wearing a top that my friend Courtney gave to me, and I actually just tied it up under here and then rolled it under to give it kind of a cropped look. It's got some fringe underneath the arms, similar to Marsha's, and then my white go-go boots as well since she was wearing hers. Looking at these photos of Marsha now, I remember I was supposed to wear that scarf as a headband and like tease my hair into a little bouffant and do a cute hairdo with it but i totally forgot and i just wore it around my neck so whatever <laughs> it still works the next outfit is my all-time favorite of marcia's this is like total inspiration for me i love this look so much i'm now realizing that i totally forgot to wear gloves but i just want to make a note of it because those are so good with the rings over the gloves. I love it. And then there's this other photo which may again be from the same day or maybe just she's wearing the same outfit but this time she's got kind of like a giant scarf over her arms which I think is a great idea if you're going to a festival or a live music show that's outside. Bring layers. Be prepared. So for my version of this, I wore this bodysuit that laces up the front, since I didn't have shorts that laced up the front. I'm wearing my black faux leather shorts and then this vintage black belt. I also saw that she had a chain around her waist that I thought looked really, really cool. And so to kind of give off that same vibe, I put a necklace that had a big chain around my waist as well. I'm wearing my black knee-high boots, I have my gold armband on, and then I'm wearing this uh, necklace that has like a couple beaded strands and then a longer pendant down past the collarbones and then similarly to how she wore the scarf in the second photo I took my Turkish blanket which Ash and Chris's stepmom actually gave to me so nice I love that and I love her um, and I just draped it over my shoulders and that is a really smart thing to do because one it's warm two you can sit on it three it makes for a pillow it's just the best thing to have on you at all times so, highly recommend. For this one, I found this photo of her in an amazing little satin dress that buttons up really cute. It's got like, a pocket it looks like she's putting something into. I love this light, delicate kind of fabric and color on the top with then the uh, semi-sheer tights on the bottom and then the black shoes. I think that it makes a cool kind of contrast between those two. For my look, I also love her eyeshadow in this photo. For my version of this look, I grabbed this olive green dress that's in this kind of like a synthetic shiny material similar to the satin. It looks similar at least. And then contrasting the more bright, lighter color with the darker shoes and stockings on the bottom. I also just grabbed this purse for the fun of it. Um, it's from Avo Bags. They sent it to me. And I just thought that it made a nice accessory with this outfit. So this it looks like she's at the airport with her baby. And she has on a leopard printed jacket it seems like. Um, with a button up shirt. I love the like double buttons going down on this. Really nice. Can't really tell what kind of pants she's wearing so I guessed. And for this outfit, I'm actually wearing Alice's faux leopard print jacket that she sent to me in our monthly little clothing swap that we do. And since she had on a cool kind of patterned button-up blouse, I wore this vintage one. I've got it buttoned up all the way and then tucked into these like little kick flare corduroy pants that I have. I actually cut them to be this length. And for shoes, I have on these super cool suede uh, platform boots with little hearts going up the side. I think they're so cool. She didn't have a necklace on, but I just thought it'd make a nice little accessory, so I popped on this big gold necklace that my friend Brie sent to me. Okay, outfit number eight. I love these photos of her. Um, again, some great fringe. Uh, she's got a cool statement necklace on, and it looks like some brown suede pants. Also some bracelets and rings. So I didn't really have anything to go along with that fringe top so much, but I did have this very fringy poncho that I love the look of. It's got like these white beads that kind of dangle off the fringe and it just makes it look like little dew drops on it, I feel like. That's the vibe that it gives me at least. 
Um, so I have that layered over this white blouse with like a roughly high neckline. I have my lucky pocket watch that I wear around my neck doubled up just so that it sits in that neckline a little better. And I have on my dark brown suede pants with my crimson knee-high boots. I also threw on some bracelets since she had some on. Okay, this last photo I found while looking at the photos of Marsha from Vogue. I believe that photo that she's sitting with the tie top and she's sitting kind of like with her feet towards the camera. I think that that was from Vogue as well. Um, I do remember specifically finding this picture only when looking up her Vogue work. Uh, so I love this image so good. The corset's amazing. It makes me want to make one like this. It's like pointed up and down. Her outfit is beautiful as well. She looks like the absolute goddess that she is. And I love her little like necklace. I can only assume that it's a snake. I've seen necklaces like that, but every single time that I see one, it's a little more money than I am able to spend at the time, uh, so hoping for that someday, but for the meantime to try to emulate this look. Okay, I just moved my phone trying to adjust the lighting, so sorry if it's a little different, uh, but to try and emulate that same like white flowy goddess look that she's got going on here with this outfit, I picked out this Victorian dress. I'm sure it was like an underdress or something. I picked this up in St. Louis. I'm really excited about it uh, for the summertime and spring. I think it's super cute. Of course, you could wear like a leotard under this or like some shorts. You could even wear a different skirt or a slip dress or a slip skirt. I just decided to wear the black underwear because it matched the black corset and then the black straps on the shoes. For the corset, I was lucky and had just made a couple of these for myself. Uh, so I threw that on. I think it looks really cute with it and She's not wearing shoes from what I can tell in that photo But I just decided to pop on these sandals because why not like I already mentioned I don't have a snake necklace like that uh, So I put on this headband instead which is like a little snake that wraps around like this and That is all of the outfits I have for you today So like I said, I've been very very inspired by Marsha Hunt since this summer and it's just been like increasingly more so. Hope you all found some outfit inspiration with Marsha and I'll catch you in the next one.